Wichita's Biz That Is. I'm Tim Witzman, and with my guests Don Berry and Cindy Berner Harris. And we've been talking about the library, we've been getting an idea of something new on the program. Um, if, there I if there's a reason the library hasn't been built, it's money. So mm -hmm. where are we? I mean, how, how is this supposed to be done? Well, the city manager's been very creative. Uh, they found a one-time pool of money. Uh, they're going to ask for some public private partnership support um, and then some of them will go into the capital improvement project but basically we're looking at a 30 million dollar building okay yeah I, I do I'm not going to take a big position on this but I'm going to say this it bothers me sometimes when people are, they're always against whether it's an arena or a civic center or a library and the fact is you just have to replace these things periodically they yep. live a certain length of time, and then right. they are functionally obsolete. Yes. They don't work mm -hmm. anymore, and it has to be done. Uh, that's not a pitch to say this is the right, the right thing, but uh, I am constantly amazed when people, well, we don't need this, and we don't need well, Yes, you, a community does. <laughs> Randy Brown, God bless him, had, uh, had invented this term, cave people, uh, citizens against virtually everything, <laughs> and Wichita certainly has its share. <laughs> Okay. Um, you have supporters. To, how does the Foundation House and Library Board work to try to help the library advance what it's trying to do? Well, part of it is um, the political process and educating people in general what, what is necessary. Um, you know, most people aren't aware that there is an ADA issue with the library that's going to be coming up in a couple of years, the city has to. So it just, it just makes it easier to, to build another building. The idea that uh, the library is a warehouse for romance novels is not true anymore. You know, you, you've, you've heard all about that in today's conversation. I want conversation. more history. Yes. More history. <laughs> more history. So, you know, if you think of the library as the gateway to knowledge, and you know a place for people to gather, visit. Uh, you know it just it it has the ability to be so much more than what it is today. How do you deal with the fact? Uh, you know, with Rotary, uh, we give out books to the kids and mm -hmm. schools, Title One schools particularly, and often it's the first book the kids ever seen, which always astonishes me. Um, and I understand in some cases there are language difficulties, mm -hmm. but um, how do you deal with things like that. I was asking teachers last week, how do you deal when you, kids walk into class and they've never had any discipline mm -hmm. in their life? What do you do? <laughs> no, you know, what, what we do is we actually focus very deliberately on early literacy. We have a specialist whose primary responsibility is to go out and find and work with those children, their parents and their caregivers, where they are so that having to come to the library is not one of those barriers. We also are actively involved in a program called Six by Six, where we really are working to make sure that every preschool child in this community is getting the six skills that they need by the time they start school so that they will be school ready, ready to learn, ready to read. That's a big initiative that all public libraries in Kansas are working on, but, but that's something that's been very powerful to us. And so then programs like the Dolly Parton Imagination Library that United Way uses, or the work that the Rotary does, mm -hmm. helping to get books out there, leverages in. We also are- And dictionaries. And dictionaries, really. right. Mm -hmm. You know, we're involved in another program called Check Up and Check Out, where we're working with some of the health clinics in town, and when mm -hmm. the pediatrician does that wellness check, they give a prescription for the family to come to the library and get the, a book. The library is involved in so many things. You might mention how many how many different contacts. In, in any given year, we deliver um, special services or, or we're involved in partnerships with over 200 organizations in the community because that's really what libraries are about right now. We're, we're about connecting into the community and creating kind of extra value for what all of these other groups are doing. Okay. Would there be any change with the new, if you get the new building, assuming this comes about, uh, between the main library and the branches? Is that any difference in relationship with that new building? Well, one of the things that I think a lot of people are concerned about is 
um, the sense that if we focus on a new library, that that means that we're not putting the same priority on the branch libraries. Mm. And, and the opposite is just true. One of the reasons right. we need a new central library is so we can continue to provide good support for our branch library system. In Wichita, again, to leverage those dollars in the budget, what we do is we centralize a lot of the supporting operations for the branches so that when people visit out there, the staff that works there are really focused directly on serving those people and not doing a lot of those administrative and what we refer to as the back of house functions. When our central library is inefficient, then that trickles out and we don't get that value out in the branches as well. So that's one thing. And then of course the specialized collections. Perhaps not the most pleasant subject, but how do you deal with the fact that you do get some homeless people and both show up? We're going to move it's and not fact. give them the forwarding address. No, no. no. <laughs> well, <laughs> well a again, it's through partnerships. You know, we have a very close uh, relationship with many of the agencies that, that serve you know, that part of our community. We have a great relationship with the Open Door um, place. We, we work with ComCare, so, you know, sometimes when people come in and it's a mental health issue, we can be that connecting piece that makes them happen. We've done a lot Good of answer. work with mm -hmm. the, um, with our new homeless outreach team mm -hmm. in the police department and, you know, really with probably about 18 months ago, there were several people who actually lived on the library property a lot of those people are now in housing because we were able to help connect them into the hot team okay. and their support system. We're going to have to wrap up. And why should people support the project to get this new library built? You go well, ahead, Cindy. I, I think it's, it's, worthy. it's really one of those things which is an anchor for quality of life in the community. Okay. We support the small business community. We support education. We have a role in a lot of the things that are really good about Wichita, and a strong library will only make those things better. That's a good way to end this session of Wichita's Biz That Is. We'll see you next time.